lies in wait amidst your dreams, where nothing is ever how it seems. It is a portal to a terrifying world beyond the doorway to Nightmare. Nightmare. Host Artemis Black. Someone once said, although the author is unknown, home is where love resides, memories are created, friends and family belong, and laughter never ends. Jake? Oh, Maggie, I think I got that knocking noise in the car fixed. At least I got the spark plugs changed. Jake, it's... I can tell you that I'm definitely going to need something for my back. Maggie, what's wrong? (sighs) He's gone, Jake. Oh, Maggie, were, were you with him? Yes, I was holding his hand when it happened. He, he managed to squeeze mine before, before. There, there, it's, it's going to be all right. We knew it was going to happen sooner or later. I wish you would have been there. It almost seemed like he smiled before he passed. He was in a great deal of pain. You knew that. But not anymore. Our son is finally at peace. But what are we going to do now? Exactly what we talked about. But do you think that we should? Maggie, it's the only way. The only thing we have left to do. Now don't worry. I will take care of everything. Is, Is he still in his room? Yes. I wrapped him up in his favorite blanket. I think that he would have liked that. I'm sure that he would. Now, why don't you make us something to eat, and I will take care of everything. I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse. The table is all set. Were you able to, I mean, did you... Pancakes look wonderful. Lord... We thank you for the bounty of our table, and we pray that you guide us through the days ahead. Amen. Now, fill your plate up. I'm just going to have coffee this morning. Now, now, you have to keep your strength up. After all, we're going to be quite busy. I cleaned his room up. Did you... did you pick out a nice place for him? Remember the oak tree up on the hill? I knew he liked to sit out there, so... He always loved that spot. You can see it through the window. He wrote the most beautiful poetry. Maybe you should put his stuff together. Who knows? We may get a best-selling book out of it. Perhaps. Jake, do you think that we're doing the right thing? I mean... Now, Maggie, old girl, we, we talked about this and what would have to happen now. Let's not bring it all up again. Oh, I wasn't. When are you planning on going out? Well, I've got to finish putting the truck back together. Shouldn't take more than a couple of hours, as long as my back holds out. Do you think that we'll be able to find, I mean, well, you know. Like I said, trust in your old man. And try not to mope around the house all day. I'll call you if anything happens. What'll it be? Oh, just a beer. Anything will do. In a bottle, if you don't mind. Five bucks. Hey, bartend. Um, excuse me a minute. Um, I, uh, got, well, you know, one of those. 
one of those what <laughs> the guy at the end of the bar he's been coming in here for almost a week now bothering my customers wanting free drinks you know the kind you know him? hey are you deaf just a second i'm with a paying customer looks like he could use a break Looks like he could use a swift kick in the rear end. I'll be right back. Well, it's about time. Look, buddy. You harassed everyone in here the other day. I was polite then, but my good demeanor only goes so far. You should treat people better. Here you are. <laughs> well, now, look at you. A whole $5 bill. That's right. Now get me a beer, if you don't mind. Um, mind if I join you? Oh, no, sure thing. Today everyone is my friend. My name's Jake. Jake Simmons. Alexander Philip Saunders, of the Houston Saunders. Never heard of us? I'm afraid I haven't. Oil, my man. My family is stinking with it. Is that so? I'll, uh, I'll let you in on a little secret. Old Daddy is drilling another site, and he's real close. If you play your cards right, I could talk to him and get you a good deal on a stock option. Really, Alex? It's a fact! Um, listen. I, I hate to ask, but I'm a little short on funds right now. Do you I think that you could possibly... Hey, bartender! Another round for both of us. Coming right up. Ha! <laughs> well, I appreciate that. I really do. It isn't often you find someone nice. Um, listen, Mr. Simmons, and it's okay. Alex and I were discussing a business proposition. That's right. My good friends, um... It's Jake. That's right, Jake. <laughs> we were discussing business. So... Why don't you go and polish your glasses or water down your whiskey, and uh, we shall call you when you are needed. That'll be ten bucks. Here. Keep the change. Oh, he doesn't look happy. Hmm. Now, where were we? We were talking about your family in the oil wells. You, you mean you really bought all that? Why wouldn't I? Because I made it all up. Huh. I can't even make a good con artist. Were you trying to con me? Nah, not really. Look, thanks for the beer. Um, sorry. Alex, do you work? What is that supposed to mean? I actually have a... proposition for you. Alex looks into the tired, sad eyes of Jake. His interest has been piqued, and he wonders what this tired man has to offer him. I will offer you Act 2, shortly. William J. Bennett wrote, quote, Home is a shelter from storms, all sorts of storms. Let me ask you something, Jake. Why do you keep staring at me? It's really freaking me out. I'm sorry, Alex. I know you probably won't believe me, but you bear a striking resemblance to my son. Really? Like what? Same color hair? Eyes? Here, let me show you his picture. Wow. We could practically pass for twins. I suppose that's why, when I saw you, I wanted to meet you. You see, he passed away not too long ago. Oh, man, I'm, I'm so sorry. Was it like an accident or something? Oh, nothing like that. No, he just went quietly in his sleep. Well... If you gotta go, that would be the way that I would want it. Unless, of course, I was in the arms of a <laughs> beautiful girl. Why don't we get out of here? Maybe go across the street to the park. Hey, Jake. 
thank you for the beer and the conversation, but man, I'm not up for anything like. <laughs> Oh, no, nothing like that. I thought maybe we could talk a little more privately. Just talk, right? That's all. I promise. You know, I helped build part of this. Oh, is that so? Before my accident, I mean. Broke my back, and I haven't been able to work since. I'm sorry to hear that. So, what's your story? Don't really have one. Are you married? (laughs) Are you proposing? (laughs) Nah, never married. Got close a couple of times. What about your family? You know, (laughs) the oil barons. Oh, parents died when I was eight. I was raised in one of those orphan homes. No other family at all. (laughs) I didn't mean to bring up anything. It's okay, Jake. You know, when I turned 18... And they said, Alex, go out into this big, ugly world and find yourself. (laughs) You know, I'm 27 now, and I still haven't found nothing. (laughs) Did you work? Of course I worked. Whenever I could find a job. And I don't take drugs, if you were going to ask. But I do lack some beer. (laughs) So there's no one in your life? It isn't like I haven't tried. But I guess you just... I just haven't found the right people, you know? My son was a lot like you. Of course, he joined the Marines. Was going to make a career out of it. Oh, what happened? Oh, he was leading a scouting party in Afghanistan when he found an IED. He yelled for the others to get back when it blew up. Man, that's tough. And he survived. Yep. Decorated by the president, no less. Saved 18 people. Of course, they really couldn't serve anymore. Listen, Jake, I hate to bring it up, but what was this proposition you were talking about? Have you eaten anything yet? Well, you mean since two days ago? Um, just whatever sandwich the church gives out. Why don't you come home with me? Maggie, that's my wife, she cooks like nobody can. Well... I don't know. Alex, it would make her so happy to have somebody besides myself to cook for. Come on, we just live a hop, skip, and a jump from here on a little farm. I can stop and grab a six-pack and... No, six-pack. You just said the magic words, Jake, old pal. My truck is right over there. I'll call her and let her know we're coming. Jake, are you okay? Perfect, Maggie. Now, what do you have planned for dinner? Oh, I thought we would make some of that chicken that... that... Honey, it's okay. Chicken sounds fine, but make enough for one more. You mean... And you won't believe it, but his name is Alex. Oh, my. What should I have with the chicken? You make your wonderful meal, and Alex and I will be home in about an hour. Do you think he'll accept our offer? Honey, I'm sure of it. This sure is nice country out here. And private, too. Our nearest neighbor's about five miles down the road. So, what is this deal you haven't been telling me about? Well, you see, Alex, my son's name just happened to be Alex as well, and you look a lot like him. Oh, there's some minor differences. But as you said, you two could have passed for twins. You know... Jake, you keep dancing around something. Why don't you just come out and say it? All right, I will. When my Alex was wounded, the VA took as much care of him as they could. But Maggie and I weren't satisfied, so we brought him home. (laughs) Wish I had parents like you. I'm glad to hear you say that. You see, after I broke my back and wasn't able to work anymore, I got my disability check. Alex, that is my Alex, got one too, as well as one from the VA. Maggie and I, well, we sort of started to rely on it. Why, you old con artist. Oh no, I'm telling you the truth. (laughs) What did you do? 
and bury him in the backyard? Actually, up on a hill, under an old oak tree. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. You're serious, aren't you? That's my proposition. I want you to become my son. Yeah, whoa, now, now, wait a minute. Isn't that a fraud? And against the government? Nobody has to know. Look, you get your own room with satellite TV, radio, nice comfortable bed, three meals a day. Maggie and I will take real good care of you. You won't have to worry about working or anything. And all the beer you could possibly want. So, what do you say? I think... I I think that... I I think I should start calling you Dad. (laughs) Richard Bach once wrote, The bond that links your true family is not one of blood, but of respect and joy in each other's life. I'll be back with our concluding act in just a moment. The author Lisa Weed wrote, Being a family means that you are part of something very wonderful. It means you will love and be loved for the rest of your life. How is the chicken, Alex? Oh, it's delicious, Miss Simmons. Now you know you can call me Maggie, or Mom if you prefer. You folks are really nice. And, uh, I thank you for the dinner. <laughs> well, you eat up, and I'll show you to your new room. Sure do got a lot of pictures of your son. It's almost like I was looking at a mirror. He was a fine young man, Alex. Just as I'm sure that you are. How about another beer? Oh, I don't know. I'm feeling a little on the sleepy side. <laughs> now, you see, Maggie? It's not just me. (laughs) Oh, go on. I swear, Alex. Jake will go to sleep with just a light snack. (laughs) Yeah, I guess you're right. You sure are a fine... Um... A a fine... (sighs) Uh, 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 Hey, hey, I, uh... I don't feel so... So... Thought those tranquilizers would never work. He is a bit taller than our Alex, but I suppose it won't make much difference after we're done with him. Hey, what? Where? Where am I? Oh, Jake! Alex is finally waking up. Here you go. Drink some of this. Yo. Oh, thank you. It's it's funny, I I can't seem to feel my legs. Now, don't you worry about it. You just lay there and rest. It's been quite a night. Hey, I... I can't feel my left arm. What's going on? Well, you see, son, Alex, that is, our Alex, was wounded in Afghanistan. Right, yeah, you told me he saved a bunch of people from an explosion? And you see, every once in a while... The VA will send someone out to, you know, check up on things. It's been someone different every time, except for the pictures. They really don't know what our boy looked like. What, what did you do? What, why can't I feel my, my... Oh, oh my god! My legs! You, you cut off my legs! And my arm? I'm so sorry, dear, but we had to. You see... The VA knows that our son didn't have those appendages. No, let me out of here! Oh, I'm afraid we can't do that. Not now, anyhow. What... what are you doing with that... blowtorch? Well, you see, Alex... (laughs) that is, our Alex... was also severely burned. Almost his entire body. So, you see, we have to make you look just like him. 
Unfortunately, the only way to do that is to use the blowtorch. No, you're, you're crazy. Both of you. Help. Help. Now you hush up. Besides, no one can hear you. Didn't Jake tell you our nearest neighbor was five miles away? Please, please don't do this. I'm sorry, son. It's the only way. No! No! no. Did he... did he make it, Jake? I'm sorry, Maggie. He's gone. <laughs> he looks so much like our Alex. Cheer up, Maggie. I'll go out tomorrow, maybe up to the city. <sighs> I guess the old saying is true. If at first you don't succeed, try it. Try again, 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 again. Maggie smiles at her husband, Jake. They look out the window at the bonfire that holds the remains of Alex. She says a silent prayer that next time, perhaps, it will be the right one. I'll return shortly. Home is where one starts from, wrote T.S. Eliot. For a young man named Alex, it was his final end. Our cast included Dave Arkhipov, Annie Mick, Raven Adams, and William Stafford. The story was edited by Crimson McKenzie and directed by Winslow Swan. And now, a preview of our next tale. Oh, I think that you're beautiful no matter how you look. Hmm, you're sweet, Richard, but extremely biased. I have to look my best, at all times. <laughs> but you have a mirror in every room. Now, don't you think that you're being very vain? <laughs> of course I am, darling. Think of it. My picture splashed all over social media when... I don't look my best. But, Myra, you always look your best. As I said before, you are biased. This is Artemis Black, inviting you to return with us to the Doorway to Nightmare for another adventure into the terrifying world of your imagination. Until next time, slumber peacefully. Epilogue. The butler did it. <laughs>